Welcome to our channel of Nagesh Karasgi Orchid School. My name is Kajal Kulkarni and I am going to teach grade 6 English grammar. So today in our this class we are going to see all about dialogues and autobiography. About lesson number 17 composition. Okay. So we are going to see today about dialogues and autobiography in details. So let's begin. Okay. So first we will start with a dialogue. Now what do we mean by a dialogue? A dialogue is a conversation between two or more people. See students, we have, uh, when we meet our friends after a very long period of time, we start communicating with each other, we start talking with each other, we start sharing our ideas with each other. So that is called as a dialogue. Okay, so when we are writing a dialogue, when a dialogue is to be written, it should be between two or more people. Okay, the dialogue cannot be done only with one person. Okay, so whenever we are writing a dialogue, it should be between two or more people. Okay, so if we are, uh, suppose we are going to the market and we meet one of our friends after a very long time, after a very long span of time, okay? And we start, we just keep on observing that person, we keep on staring at that person and then we, it clicks in our mind that yes, that is my friend, okay? So then we start communicating, we start conversing with each other, right? So suppose with one friend one more friend is along with that friend okay so we are now three so we are conversing with each other so when we converse with each other we have to write the name of the person who is talking now for example here Meera and Prerna are talking about whether to go and see a movie or play badminton this Saturday afternoon. Write a dialogue about what each person is saying. So when we are writing a dialogue, we, it is very compulsory to write the name of the person who is delivering the speech or who is uh, communicating who is conversing okay so it is very important that we have to write the names of the communicator here the first first thing when we meet our friend we greet each other right we greet each other so here what Mira is doing Mira says hi Prerna how are you so we are greeting the first thing when we meet anyone we start greeting. We start with the greet. Okay. Prerna. Hi Meera. I am fine. How about you? Now she is replying to Meera. See students here. Meera asked her. Hi Prerna. How are you? So did Prerna say. Yes I had my lunch. Or I had my breakfast. Did she reply it in that way? No. Whatever question was asked to her, she replied exactly to that. So the question and answer or whatever the chat is, whatever the conversation is, it should be related to each other. Okay. It should not mismatch anywhere. So here when Meera is asking Prerna that how are you, she is replying to that, that I am fine. How about you? Okay. Then to that what Meera is saying. I am fine too. Are you free this Saturday afternoon? I was thinking if we could go to a movie. See students, here in grammar we have learned in this book many topics. Yes, so the last topic which we had seen about clause, phrases so whenever we are communicating or whenever we are writing or whenever we are reading we come across all these types or all these contents okay so just when we are reading 
just uh, try to recall whatever we have learned in this book okay now to the to prerna whatever question was asked to her she is replying i am fine too are you free this saturday afternoon i was thinking if we could go to a movie now to that what prerna will reply will she give something uh, out of the box will she reply something that is not relevant with the question asked to her no the answer or the conversation should be relevant means it should be linked to each other now if suppose Pre meera is asking are you free this saturday afternoon if suppose prerna says yes i am free this saturday okay she is saying that she is free this saturday now you no need to just copy whatever i am reading uh, i am writing you can write whatever comes in your mind whatever reply you want to give to this okay so now she is telling i was thinking if we could go to a movie so here what they are telling that whether to go to see uh, go and see a movie or play badminton this saturday afternoon so now prerna will say yes i am free this saturday but i have planned to have a badminton match to have a badminton badminton match okay so now she will say prerna will ask yes i am free this saturday but i have planned to have a or i have planned to play badminton i have planned to play badminton with my friends to play badminton with my friends okay so you can just write whatever you want and then she says that can you join us now prerna is asking can you join us for the same or we can also say that prerna is telling her to join she is insisting her to join the play uh, to join the ma badminton match so prerna is saying yes i am free this saturday but i have planned to play a badminton i have planned to play a uh, badminton with uh, or we are planning to play badminton in our compound so are you uh, ready to join us or would you like to join us to that what meera is saying okay what meera has to say if suppose meera is telling no she has already planned to watch the movie so she will reply to that and let next all right then that's our plan for the saturday see you soon bye prerna is saying bye so if suppose prerna uh, meera is also ready to play the badminton match so she will say okay then i will be joining you for the match prerna will tell that okay you can come to my house and join us for the play we have arranged a few snacks see students this is what the you all can write in your own words the ideas i have given here okay then meera says all right i will be joining you sharp at 5 pm then prerna says okay then it is done meera says all right then that's our plan for the saturday and see you soon bye bye okay so this is what called as a dialogue okay this is called as a dialogue so a dialogue is a conversation between two or more people only one person cannot dialogue okay They cannot have a conversation the conversation is always between two or more than two people so is it clear to everyone what is a dialogue so you can have a dialogue on any of the topics all right now next we will move on to autobiography what do you mean by autobiography an autobiography is an account of a person's life written by that person 
it is the story of someone's life told by himself or herself it is always written in first person now students autobiography now just i will give an example that as a student okay i will just give example to you as a student now when you bring a new bag a new compass box new pencil or pens you are so so much excited to use that right so once you are you are using it continuously 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 when you uh, when you are fed up using that bag then you throw it anyhow yes when you purchase the bag for the first day you you arrange your bag so neatly you keep your bag so neatly you organize everything and keep yes but <coughs> uh when your bag is after many days after using it for many days the bag becomes old means it becomes very uh the color fades it starts tearing the print also comes out yes you start pulling out the thing so the bag becomes old then what you do when the bag turns old you just throw the bag here and there do you take it take care as you were taking it the care of it earlier no so the bag is telling something about itself okay so that is called as autobiography autobiography can be of anything it can be of thing also okay so if i am talking about a coin so the coin is telling a story about himself uh, itself okay the coin is telling the story about itself that it was manufactured in one of the factory it was made up of iron and then it was given a nice polish and shiny when it was very new then it was sent to the bank means the coin is telling that i was sent to the bank and in the bank i was feeling very happy i was having many friends along with me and the clinging sound made by us was really pleasant it was really very nice one day one of the lady came to the bank and i was given to her see the coin is telling something about itself i was given to her so that lady took me and put me in her purse for few days i was lying in one of the corner in her purse and in her purse i made many friends 2 rupees 5 rupees 10 rupees 1 rupee if the coin is about if if the coin is of 1 rupee then 1 rupee is telling about other friends 2 rupees 5 rupees 10 rupees okay so we were all friends there one day the lady went to the market and she just put her hand in her purse and she started searching the coins so she found me in her hand she removed me and handed it handed over to me to the uh, vegetable vendor now the vegetable vendor for few days i was with the vegetable vendor now my shine had become very less and when i was with the vegetable vendor i reached from there to one of the canteen in the uh, school so one boy one day one boy came there and i was landed in his or i was handed over to him he took me and he put he just dropped me in one dark room he took me and he dropped me in one dark room so student can you imagine what that dark room will be yes can you imagine what dark room that coin is telling us about yes the coin is telling that i was dropped in a dark room that was a piggy bank okay so that boy he was having the habit so that coin is telling that in that piggy bank i waited i i lived there for many days i made friends with other coins and they told me that the boy was having the habit of collecting the coins and dropping it in the piggy bank and this coins he wants to use it uh, for bringing a football 
so he wants he is collecting all these coins for uh, purchasing the football so now this coin is telling that i am still lying in that dark room in that dark piggy bank and waiting to come out and see the sunlight so this is the autobiography of a coin the coin is telling something about itself so similarly we can autobiography can be written of umbrella for bag uh, book pencil any any anything you can write okay so now we are having one video which explains how the autobiography is to be written okay we are just going to observe we ob uh, go through one video biographical account look at the points look at the points carefully an autobiography is an account of a person's life written by that person it is the story of someone's life told by himself herself it is always written in first person when you write an autobiographical account of something remember these points it must be written in first person a little back students it must be written in first person first person means it should be written means always i the coin if suppose i i was i gave the example of coin so coin will keep on using the pronoun i okay so the coin will keep on using the pronoun i again and again so it will become the first person i am the only one so first person okay the autobiography is always written in first person next point Around to who you are should be mentioned. You should write about what kind of person you are. If the account is about one particular event, then give a context and write about the event incident. Describe the incident in detail using different imagery. The tense should ideally be past tense. Since you are writing about something that has already happened, use present tense if you are writing your views, feelings about the incident. Student, I'll play it once again. Composition autobiography. Hi everyone. Today we shall learn how to write an autobiographical account. Look at the points carefully. An autobiography is an account of a person's life written by that person. It is the story of someone's life told by himself, herself. It is always written in first person. When you write an autobiographical account of something, remember these points. It must be written in first person. A little background to who you are should be mentioned. You should write about what kind of person you are. If the account is Yes students, I have already explained it must be written in first person. The second point says a little background to who you are should be mentioned. So when I told the autobiography of a coin I started with my introduction that I am a coin made out of iron. I was born in one of the a factory where they processed me and made me into a very shiny coin. Okay, so you have to introduce first. So a little background to who you are should be mentioned. about whom you are writing you have to think that you are a coin okay and you are writing an autobiography if you don't imagine in that way you won't be able to write any autobiography you should write about what kind of person you are okay what kind of person now if in this coin uh, 
coin example you should write about as i told that i was made up of this i was very shining okay so that you have to write what kind of a person you are i am see i am talking about a thing we can write of a person also okay next if the account is about one particular event then give a context and write about the event incident if the account is about a particular event then give a context and write about the event or incident okay so it is what example i had given same it is like you have to write about one event of it now how the coin went from one hand into another hand so we have to write about that event very in it should be going moving in a proper way okay it should be given uh, the context should be present in that next the idea should be clear when you are writing an autobiography in detail using different imagery describe the event in detail using different imaginary image imagery so we are imagine when we are writing an autobiography we have to imagine and write okay so write the incident as i told from the coin went from bank to one lady's purse there it made friends then it went to the uh, vegetable vendor then in the uh, canteen then to the boys piggy bank okay so in this way the incident should be detailed the tense should ideally be past tense since you are writing about something that has already happened see the tense which we are writing i i am a coin i was made in a factory or i was made out of iron so when i am using was i am talking about past tense so the tense should be idly the tense should be idly the past tense since we are writing about something that has already happened the coin coin bina bane kaise it will tell the uh, autobiography yes so to tell the autobiography it should be happened it should be done already okay so the thing the coin has already happened and now it is telling something about it use present tense if you are writing your views feelings about the incident now we use present tense when did i use present tense at the end of the autobiography when i was ending it what did i say i am still lying in the dark room and i am waiting for light i am waiting for the sunlight or i am waiting to come out and see the sunlight so that is what the present we are talking about present okay so students here we have done with this autobiography there is one one topic write an autobiographical account on any one of the topics here we are given two topics your first day at school and a life changing event okay so any one topic you have to select and you have to start writing on it now you can talk a little bit about yourself to let the reader know about the kind of person you are and situation you were in describe the event in detail and also let the reader know how the event or events made you feel remember to use the pronoun i to refer to yourself in the autobiography okay so suppose if i am writing a little a life changing event so i can give example that um first you have to tell something about yourself you have to talk a little bit about yourself that you have to introduce you have to tell that i am a shy person or i am a reserved person okay and then you will start with the life changing event that i was my school was changed 
and I faced a lot of problem when my school was changed. So what problems I faced? I have to write it in details in my own words. Okay. So you can select any one topic out of this and write the autobiography in your own words in your grammar CW or you can write it in any of the book. You can just uh, imagine, keep on imagining and write the things, okay? So here we have done with this chapter. So here we have completed with the topic. We have seen today how the dialogue is written and how autobiography is written. So here we have completed with the topic number 17, composition. Till then, thank you.